Hello friends, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be marinating some shrimp. Um, and if you're liking these videos, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And with the bell notifications on so you stay updated on any future projects that I have in store. So right now we're just going to be stringing the water out of the shrimp. I'm just hitting with the water because it had... Uh, some weird bubbles in it you know I just want to make sure that um, I don't get any bubbles I just want the pure shrimp um, and meanwhile we're just gonna grab a uh, china hat and some gloves the essentials uh, we're just going to be straining both shrimps so while we're working on one uh, the other one is still kind of dripping some water um, so you know there we go some of my coworkers are having a blast um so i'm just gonna be cutting it off So what we're doing right now is patting dry the, the shrimp with um, with any protein that you have, whether it's tofu, whether it's fish, whether it's shrimp, whether it's, um, you know, like a piece of meat, chicken. Uh, it's always better if you dry out your meat. Um, that way, whenever it hits the grill, it, it has a more crispier shell you know there's not that much moisture you're not steaming it you're actually grilling it it helps the the dry rub stick to the meat or the protein better um so yeah that's what i'm up to. So you never really want to touch the seasoning bottle with your dirty glove. Right now we're putting away the shrimp and we're going to be doing some shrimp skewers. Whether it's vegetables out of the can, whether it's fresh vegetables, uh, it's the same theory applies that you just always have to rinse out your protein or your veggies. So that's what I'm up to. Um, and honestly, you know, you gotta keep it clean. So this is actually the most time consuming part of the whole dealio um, is doing the shrimp skewers. For the shrimp tacos, it's just as easy as marinating all the individual shrimp. But with the shrimp skewers, we butterfly the head uh, just to make the shrimp kind of expand and while they're cooking, it makes them look bigger. And it just provides a better experience um 
as like you know just more even cooking times um, and potentially a crispier crust um, and you know I guess at the end of the day all of these could be arbitrary you know like it like I'm wasting more time butterflying all my shrimp than I am like it, you know making money for the company or whatever but this is um, you know it's all about the experience and it, it should once you once you're proficient at it it, it doesn't take that long um, there were some cuts that I kind of missed up on but I always try to go a little bit over there's some that are actually butterfly so there's some that I'm just kind of like okay go go right ahead so yeah One thing I should mention is I should not have left my shrimp out on the left corner of the table like that. Um, that does have potential to get into the danger zone and since all my shrimp is thought out it technically is in the danger zone so I quickly kind of recognized that. I was a little bit lost in trance because you know most of uh, there's always other things to think about other things to do there's always stuff happening around the kitchen so uh, you'll see later on that I do get a tray of ice, but definitely don't do that whenever you're doing shrimp. <laughs> So I decided it was a good time to clean up my station. Um, it always is nice to have more space and not a lot. Um, you know, whenever you are cleaning your station, you gotta clean your dishes, especially if you're prepping. So, you know, cause there's no dishwashers until service um, when shit's really hitting the fan. So there is uh, my manager, Juan, he, uh, he saw me almost leave without fully rinsing out my strainers. So, you know, he was just saying, hey, you really need to be careful especially when you're working with shrimp so you know that was a nice little wake-up call thank you Juan I love you Juan um, and you know always 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 wear gloves So now that we were finished with the shrimp, I needed to put it away, and I couldn't find an ice tray, so that's what we are going to get, is some ice. Um, always, just to explain what I did a little bit before, always sanitize your station after you're done with each task. So after I clean my, you know, utensils, I guess you would say, my strainers, my, my buckets, uh, I would sanitize my, my station because... You don't know what is going to get stuck. Um, so since I figured that I was probably just going to, you know, there wasn't any space in the in the walk-in, I was just going to set everything aside altogether. So now that my shrimp is in, on ice, I felt comfortable just starting my skewers. Always put water in your stick skewers, otherwise you'll get splinters through your shrimp. And that is no good. You, you just worked like... 30 minutes to butterfly your shrimp. You don't want any splinters or any pieces of wood to get stuck in there. 
Um, always sanitize your station, put on some gloves, and get ready to rumble. We're on it, baby. So, not gonna lie, this is, uh, you know, this is the most time-consuming part of the whole shebang. Um, but, you know, after editing and doing all these voiceovers, kind of reflecting on, on what I'm doing. Um, it's crazy to think about that the job that I had prior, all I was doing was cooking teriyaki chicken and, yeah, managing, like, a store of 80 or 100 people. And, you know, it was, uh, I'm grateful for that experience. And I think I learned a lot from that place, but I don't think that I would have been able to work with the people that I do now. And the work that I do now has more complexity than just chicken and teriyaki. Perhaps I have fallen from grace, but I am looking back with some rose-tinted sunglasses, and I'm reflecting on how how simple things were back then. But you know, you can only move forward. My homie in front of me, his name is George. He has been fucking blending the same barbecue sauce. Like he's been making triple batches of barbecue sauces so that's what i've been kind of doing most of the voiceover it's because his blender's been going non-stop but wow uh here soon you're gonna see my chef ask what's with the bra <laughs> and i'm like hey well i'm just wearing my my chest vest um and you know it's wonderful i i, I think uh I'm lucky to be working here and I am excited to see what I can do next. I don't believe that I would have the same opportunities if I was in Kansas City, so I'm glad that I took the chance and I took the risk. So I did not realize that I got a little water droplet on the lens. Um, so that's why this is probably the last clip that you're gonna see because I didn't, you know, I didn't realize that it kind of ruined like the rest of the video. But that's why you'll only see me do shrimp. But I will try to bring you guys something else in the near future. Um, what we're doing right now is just basically putting shit away labeling and dating our product um making sure that everything like if there's any old product moving forward um just making sure that the walk-in is all clean and set up um you'll see that i take out a box in the walk-in because i was like hey you know we, we don't need this here so 
Um, it's just about being a team and just the fluidity of a kitchen. Um, so once we have everything labeled, make sure that the plastic thing doesn't fall apart. My earbuds just like came off while I was doing that, so I was like, fuck it. Cleaning up our utensils and our station, sanitizing everything, because cross-contamination, especially with shrimp, is one of the worst, it's just one of the worst things to happen. So, um, there we are. So now we are just crossing the things off of the list that we finished. Um, you know, te amo Ramiro, te amo mamá, te amo Gustavo, los extraño mucho. Um, I just decided to put some meat away. Um, for the last bit of the video. Um, as you can see, I mean, like, the water droplet pretty much evaporated. But, I, like, at the end of um, at the end of the footage, like, you'll, you'll see, like, it, it just kind of gets smudged. Whenever you're putting meats, make sure that nothing is underneath that may get cross-contaminated. So I saw the rice, and I was like, man, fuck that. I don't want blood to spill from the top to the bottom. Um, so... I think that's it. I'm going to end things off here. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload this video. It is 17 minutes long, one of my longest videos. So, um, let's see how it goes. I love you guys. Take it easy. And if you like these videos, just make sure to hit that like button. I love you guys. Thank you so much.